Hello everybody, welcome back to the War Room. This is Pastor James 1985. So I have once again returned to Air Conflict Specific Carriers so we can complete the final mission in the US Carrier Campaign in the Pacific, the Battle of Reynolds Island. So it looks like there's three parts to this uh, Battle, Watchtower, and Dangerous Cruisers mission. So we're going to do all of those. And uh, for those of you wondering what's going to be coming up next for the Air Conflicts series, uh, since we're wrapping up the U.S. campaign here, there's about two or three battles in the uh, Japanese the Japanese campaign, the Battle of the Philippine Sea, and the Battle of Leyte Gulf. So I still need to do those for the channel, and I will do those when the uh, I will do those when those days come around. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's get into it. Battle of Rental Island. It's a miracle that the Enterprise has survived the Solomon Islands campaign. We've taken Tolugi, pacified Santa Cruz, and secured Guadalcanal. It's Enterprise versus Japan. And by some miracle, the Enterprise appears to be winning. The only way the enemy can salvage this campaign is to destroy the Enterprise. We must survive at all costs. At all costs. We're engaging the enemy at Rennell Island. The Japanese are evacuating the Solomons, and we're bringing transports in. So there's plenty of targets on both sides. The USS Chicago is also present, and we're tasked with defending her as a priority. We expect her to be the primary target of the enemy. Obviously a high-value target. Oh yeah, we got F4U Corsairs now. Let's go. We can carry some bombs and some... Come on, can't I bring better rockets. Oh, at least slow you down a good bit, too. Yeah, apparently from... Oh, yeah, if, that makes sense. Yeah, so we'll just go with that. Then for the Avenger... This is the one where you can switch between rockets, so... Yeah, I think the... Yeah, so these are... 3.5 inch... And these are 5 inch. I think it's bad we get more damage out of these and then we get a torpedo obviously. I feel like in a real s battle scenario we would not have to find a friendly cruiser. Oh there's smoke on the horizon over there. Let's go check that direction. Yeah, look at us, we're VFA-28, I think. Is that the Jolly Rogers? We got the whole squad joining here. Look, floaty, floaty missiles, they're not attached to any hard points. We found the Chicago. Patrol the Chicago. What does that mean? What does that mean? Do I just wait for them to come to me? I'm not exactly sure what you want me to do here. Break, break formation, engage the enemy. That's a lot of planes. I don't know why we have rockets. I don't think that'll be much use. I thought we would be attacking something that was ground or maybe even sea-based. 
If I'd known we weren't, I wouldn't have brought all these rockets and bombs with me. That's those are not useful in this scenario. That's a lot of tail gunner fire. I do not like that. Love it when the game just massively lags on me like that. Yeah, the nasty habit of Japanese planes to catch fire instantaneously when being shot at by 50 cows. Love that. That's a friendly. That is not a friendly. Did we not do our job? How are, I was gonna say, how is that guy still flying? I've like, I've put about like 300 rounds of 50 cal into him. He should not be alive. There we go, there's one. Alright, let's try to hit him with these things. Oh, you can take them down with these rockets. Perfect. You just gotta get really good aim. No way I hit that. Alright, uh, we're out of... Oh. Okay, okay, I'll go back to the battle area, jeez. Yeah, we killed most of the bombers. One bomber escaped. Wow, one bomber got away. Uh-oh. It's not good. Yes, sir, CO. Isn't there a way to, like, change cameras? Oops. Yep, there is. Look. I'm inside the cockpit. Oh, those are planes. Should I just like spray all my rockets into their faces? Just like start from all the way over here, just just spam. Spam rockets. Oh, I got one! Sick. I was not actually expecting to get any kills with that missile barrage or rocket barrage, I guess. So should we be... Should we, we should probably be ditching our torpedoes, shouldn't we? Just to, you know, be faster. These 250 cows aren't doing anything. Not at this range, at least. They're faster than me, too. That 
these things do not dish out enough damage to be efficient. Out of ammo. Okay. Shot that right over their wing. Okay, let's try this again. Like I said, these things just don't have the offensive capability to defend themselves very well. We really do need to be making very liberous or very uh, precise use of our rockets. We need to make sure we're getting a target with every rocket we fire. Because these guys do not go down to 50 cal. There you go, that's how you use those rockets. You just, you know, get right up on them and fire them. That's bound to hit one of them, right? No, okay. Oh, I got him. Ah, just missed. I did not mean to hit them. I was trying to pull up and get out of their way. Get out of the way, friendly. I don't want to hit you with this. Hey, you guys are asking to get hit by one of these rockets if you're going to keep flying into them like that. Are they above us or below us? I think they're below us. Oh, they are. I just curved that one into them. Yeah, these missiles are more effective than you think. No! Don't do it! Hold on, surely I can drop a torpedo on them and it'll work, right? I've missed. No, 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 it doesn't work that way. I did collide with them. Yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I've just gotta get in front of them to drop this. Okay, it didn't work. I had to hit them. But okay, I'm pretty sure that torpedo just clipped through his wing and didn't kill him, so... Yeah, that or I made it go slightly behind. Alright, watchtower patrol. Looking for castaways, it said. I don't like how dark it is. Are those enemies? That was fast. There, a small fleet of enemy cruisers. Those are not enemy cruisers, those are like destroyers maybe. Yeah, that, they're very far away. I'm gonna go with these guys, because it says dangerous cruisers, so I'm gonna assume that means we're gonna wanna be uh, carrying torpedoes. Well, uh, we're attacking boats. Yeah, see, it's enemy cruisers. There's three of them. Apparently. So yeah, torpedoes would be the best here. All right, Charlie Flight, let's go. Lieutenant Commander Winston Barnes reporting for duty. Flak Dodger, Bomb Master. They call me a jack of all trades.
I think he just may have dodged that torpedo barely. Nope, I hit him. I somehow managed to pull off a hit. Okay, you did not need to be that close, guys. Oh, I accidentally switched weapons instead of dropping the torpedo because the buttons are directly next to each other. Okay. Oh, yes. Please, make a wide banking turn so I can just... You, you make my job too easy, sir. I could kill more if you'd like me to. How are you still alive? You know, I'm not even gonna ask. I'm sorry, did I just no scope that guy? Ditch it. <laughs> yeah, I'll land in the carrier, why not? To ditch the extra munitions to lighten our load. Make it easier to land. Yeah, we we would have had to have traveled a good distance before we would have engaged them in, re in a real life battle. Like at the range they were at, the enemy ships would be firing at each other. I mean, you kind of saw this cruiser firing a little bit. He's doing some firing, which is accurate. They would be firing at this range. Moving runway. Landed on a carrier. And that was the dangerous cruiser. Yeah, that was the dangerous cruiser's mission. Alright, well that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I did, and I'll see you guys next time. This is the War Room, signing